guys, my brother still here from Fashion Still NYC, and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So we have a really fun haul for you all today. I'm showing you a few pieces that I've acquired from my life here in Miami Beach. If you are new, your girl pretty much most of the time lives in Harlem, New York. I've been living there for I don't know the last 15 years. But I made a little move this year to live part-time in Miami Beach. This is my new apartment. I finally got my packed closet and have somewhere to store my underwear. And it feels wonderful. I have been acquiring things, buying new things, just for my new lifestyle here in Miami Beach, which is very vacation, very tropical, very spring, and also very summer. So if you need a little inspo for spring outfits, for summer outfits, Outfits for travel, vacay, warm weather outfits, I have you covered. I'm gonna be showing you guys eight clothing pieces that I have in that are new. I'm gonna be showing you guys two pair of new shoes that I got in that I think you're gonna love. I'm gonna be showing you a new bag I got in, some new sunglasses. So yes, if you need all of those things, make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe because I have a ton of videos like this and I have a lot more coming. Do y'all hear that? Like it sounds like a bird is outside of my window. There is so much nature in Miami Beach y'all. I don't know. If you hear like a little weird squeaking, it's some kind of bird. Anywho, let's go ahead and start with my outfit of the day. You guys know your girl loves pink. Let's get into today's makeup look. I'm wearing the ColourPop Limbo Brown Lip, my absolute favorite. The low slick bun is back. Your girl took her twist out. I do have maybe two or three videos on how to do this slick back bun, so definitely check out the beauty section of my channel for that. These earrings are, it's, it's all couture statement jewelry, which is a black owned business. These are actually made out of this really cool resin and they are handmade and they have that little shell at the top there. I know they look heavy, but they're not heavy at all. They're super, super lightweight and just really fun, especially for like a warm weather vacation or I don't know, just to stunt. They're beautiful and you can support a black owned business. I will be sure to link some of my favorite like very deep brown lipsticks and lip stains down in the description box for you guys because this one tends to sell out and also I will link these earrings down below. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this super cute, cute bubblegum pink dress from the brand Road. I worked with Saks on their friends and family sale collaboration and I was able to pick out a few pieces to create my content and I definitely pick it picked out this road dress. I've always wanted one of these road dresses. Road is one of those brands that is kind of like synonymous with travel and fun and just light, airy. It just gives you those kinds of vibes. This dress actually does come in about five different colors. I think it comes in blue, it comes in white, green. They have a few tie-dye ones that are different colors. I love this little rope here that you can tie around cool different ways. I'm wearing the size medium. It fits me perfectly. It's just really, really fun. Now, for the shoe, I have to take them off y'all so I can show them to you. These are Chloe Espadrille wedges. You guys, they're they are everything. Okay, like I, I, I wasn't sure I was going to like them, but I love them and I have been wearing them nonstop. They are great neutral and they literally go with everything. So as you can see, they have the leather bottom here. They have that beautiful contrast stitching. They have this kind of almost like a thick raffia or I don't know what material this is, but I'm loving the fringe on the ends there. And then you can see that they have that espadrille part, but it also comes with this cool brown part. And then almost like a rubbery white bottom there. It does have some really good traction on the bottom too, so you're not slipping and sliding. But ugh, look at how plush this leather is. 
and just wraps around the ankle like so. These are beautiful. I think they come in a few different colors. I think they have this one, which is more of a lighter brown or almost like a blush. And then they have one that I think is a little bit darker, but uh, these are the first pair of Chloe shoes or Chloe anything I think that I've ever owned. And just the craftsmanship on these shoes is everything. I mean, look at that. These are works of art. And what I love about them is that because they are wedges, like you can walk around in these all day long. And because there are all of these different kinds of neutrals, they go well with just about anything. In fact, when I wore these, I paired it with this pink road dress and a bag and it looked great. I will link these down below. These shoes are definitely true to size. I am normally a US size 10. I got the size 41 in these and they fit really, really well. Super easy to walk in, very comfy. So that is my outfit of the day. Those are two things that I'm showing you from this haul. And of course, everything is linked down below. Let me go ahead and show you guys the bag that I actually wore with this outfit as well on Instagram, y'all. Y'all, I mean, oh, it's so good. It is so good. It is like this beautiful kind of brown brick color almost. And it is a woven bag, it is leather, it is substantial, okay, it's pretty heavy. This is the large size, but it also comes in a smaller size that's the same shape. You can see down at the bottom, it's like a little oval that's also woven. I mean, even though it is woven, like things don't fall through it unless it's really, really like skinny and small, but it opens really big. This will be a perfect like beach bag. Lots of things can fit in there. The brand is Yusefi. I have actually never heard of this brand until I did this collaboration with Saks and now I cannot stop looking at all of their bags. They have such an amazing array of bags you guys would flip. This bag also comes in a few different colors. It comes in black, it comes in cream. By the way, the cream one is on its way to me and I got the smaller size for the cream. But look at this fringe. I mean, you guys, this fringe is everything. It's just life. Oh, it's so good. I love it. So if you're in the market for a great spring and summer bag or a picnic bag, definitely check out this brand. I will link this bag down below along with the other colors as well as the smaller size that it comes in. This is super extra and I feel like my life in Miami calls for extraness. We are maximalist here, minimalist apartment, maximalist wardrobe. So yeah, those are the first three items I'm showing you guys today. Let's get into the next piece, which you all would have already seen me wear in a previous video, the Stuart Weitzman video. I wore this stunning Farm Rio dress. A lot of you said it doesn't look that great on the model. And I would have to agree, but you just have to think a little bit outside the box. When you're looking at the people modeling it, don't look at them. Think about your body type, what you can do to elevate that piece, how you would style it for yourself. You gotta kinda think a little outside the box so that you don't miss such amazing pieces like this Farm Rio dress. You guys know I love Farm Rio. It's one of my favorite kind of resort, travel, super colorful brands along with Rode. It's just synonymous with stunning, beautiful prints. I mean, this scarf print is everything. The colors are super vibrant. This material is super soft as well. And it kind of floats in the wind. So there is a pocket here. It's a beautiful pocket. There is another pocket here. And they are real pockets. And then we have pockets on both sides of this dress. This is the back of the dress. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. 
Oh, I love dresses like this because there are so many colors in it that you could literally pair it with any shoe, with any accessory, and you're going to instantly look elevated. I've actually already worn this over on Instagram, but, but because I know a lot of you don't actually have Instagram, especially for my elders, my, my aunties out there, I'll pop up a few pictures of me wearing this look. And when I wore it, I actually paired it with my vintage Chanel belt here to kind of cinch in the waist give it you know a little bit more pizzazz i also paired it with a pair of my favorite vintage earrings i love these earrings these earrings were actually one of the first like splurges i made when i first moved to new york I got these from pippin vintage i'm not even sure that store is still around in new york anymore but I remember I paid like $89 for it and I was in grad school during the time. So paying $89 for like, for a pair of earrings was really a lot for me, but I had to have them. And I've had them for over 10 years. So they were well worth the price. The sleeves on, these, on this dress is actually really cool too because it has that little button there where it can kind of cin be cinched in. This dress does come with a matching belt, like a little strand here with the same colors. I got the size medium and it fits just a tiny bit kind of oversized, but I like the poofiness of the top and of the bottom when I really cinch in the waist. But most of the time in farm real clothes, I usually size down. So if you're a true medium, you could probably get away with a small. If you don't mind, you could probably take your normal size. It might be a little bit boxy but just if you really cinch in the waist it will look great so i paired this with a pair of pink suede manolo bb pumps and it just it was a vibe y'all liked it i appreciate y'all for liking it too but yes that is one of my favorite new in purchases i actually got this dress from Saks as well during the friends and family sale it was on sale, but I'm pretty sure they have it on the Farm Rio website as well. On sale, the last time I checked, they had all sizes. So I will link it down below and just click the link in my description box. It'll take you straight to the dress. You can purchase it. And just so you do know, if you happen to purchase any of the things from my links down below, I do receive a small commission from the brand. And that just kind of lets the brand know, hey, like we need to like work with this girl because you know, she got the juice. And that helps me out a lot. So if you could, please do use my links anytime you need to purchase something that you've seen me wear or talk about. It really does help me and it's a great way to support. All right, so let's get into the next piece. All right guys, so next up we have these Gucci sunglasses. You would have seen these already in a previous vlog. So it pays to watch all my videos because most of this stuff I've already kind of shown you in other videos that aren't vlogs. I know a lot of you only really come for the vlogs, but we got a lot going on over here. So these are the Gucci oversized square Havana sunglasses and they are everything like I'm here for this yellow tint. I'm here for this oversized. Like these, these definitely give me Dapper Dan vibes and I'm here for it. Anytime I just want to elevate a look, I throw these on, even if it's just like a plain white tee, a pair of mom jeans, a slide, and these sunglasses, next thing you know, like it's a look. It's a look and it's vibe. I got these from Farfetch and I'm pretty sure they might be sold out but if not i will search the interwebs for them and try to find them for you guys i think when i got them for from farfetch they were about 350. i'm seeing them other places for like 500 almost 600 so they're so good i also believe that they come in blue like a almost like a frosty baby blue with regular lenses not the yellow ones so if I can find those, I will link those as well. Um, when I featured these in a recent vlog, a lot of you bought them. I actually think you guys sold them out from Farfetch. So thank you so much for supporting and I hope you love your sunglasses. 
Speaking of which, if you happen to buy anything from Farfetch, I do have a 10% off coupon code. It is Monroe YT10. Monroe YT10, all capital letters. If it's your first time shopping at Farfetch, um, you get a 10% off. So give it a try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It kind of depends on what the inventory is. And there are some exclusions, but try it out anyway. You never know. And since we are talking about sunglasses, I also got these Dior So Light sunglasses. I actually got these from Essence. I got these like right when I moved to Miami about a month and uh, two weeks ago. And I think I showed them in a vlog, but I haven't ever featured them in like a roundup of new things. But these are everything. I love them. I mean, they are very much giving bug. Like, I probably wouldn't wear them with these earrings. Let's see how it looks because the, these earrings are already extra. And then the sunglasses are also extra. So, ugh. Girl, it's a vibe. I featured these recently and a lot of you bought these as well. If you bought these, let me know down in the comments with a little hands up emoji. Great minds think alike. We can all be twins here, but I love these. They are super duper extra. And I'm pretty sure they come in black as well. I haven't been able to find the black ones online, but they are super light. Like when I got them, I was like, are they supposed to be this light? Like I know they're called the, the Dior So Light, but they are literally, they feel almost like I could just snap them in half, but like I would never want to because I paid too much money for these. And that's on period. But if I can locate them anywhere online, I will link them down below in the description box for you all. I still have a few more pairs of sunglasses to show you all, but I will save those for the end because I know most of you are here for the apparel, spring clothing, spring dresses. And the next piece I'm going to show you is another spring dress. Here we go. It is this dress. Now, I showed this to you, I think in a previous vlog, the brand is called One Teaspoon. They reached out to me to send me a few pieces and I chose this super cute, like baby doll dress. This is the back. The back ties around the neck, kind of like that. It has all these cool little like ruching. Can you see how this fabric is? It's almost like a thick, heavy linen. It's similar to the dress I have on, but this has less structure. It's more like a, almost like an A-line baby doll dress with no belt around the waist. It does have fringe at the bottom. So the bottom, the hem is a lot more like free. But the great thing about this dress is it has pockets. This pink dress that I have on does not have pockets. This dress here has pockets. It's pretty heavy too. Like even though it looks it's pretty lightweight, but it does have, like it's, <laughs> it's good for spring and it's good for summer, put it that way. And it does have pockets. Absolutely love that. I styled this recently with these same Chloe shoes. Ugh, it's a match mate. It, it, it's a match for me. The whole outfit kind of gave me 70s vibes, so I also, top them off with these Gucci sunglasses. And let me tell you, those are some of my favorite pictures online. Definitely check out One Teaspoon and shout out to them for sending me a few pieces. I'll actually go ahead and show you what else they sent me. But this dress, I think I got it in the size medium and it fits perfectly. Just a really cute summer dress, I will link it down below for you guys. If you are interested, go with your normal size. Let me show you what else they sent. And I also showed this to you guys in a haul within a vlog, but they sent me these super cute shorts, like almost vintage looking retro shorts that are high waisted. They have these darts here on both sides. They have a lighter denim here. They have pockets. The ends kind of roll up. 
And you can even keep rolling them up until you can see the pocket here. These fit perfectly. They sit really high on your waist and they make your, they make your bum look amazing. I got my normal size, which is a size 28 and they fit perfectly. So if you're in the market for some really cool high-waisted shorts, definitely check those out. These are called the Street Walker Shorts by One Teaspoon. I went with these because these remind me so much of my thrifted green linen shorts. I get so many questions about those thrifted shorts. There's literally no tag in those shorts. I don't know the brand. They did not come that way. They were actually Bermuda shorts that kind of hit me mid thigh. All I did was roll them up and sew them in the middle so that you could see the pockets. Um, and you can do that with any pair of thrifted shorts. I will actually link some of the thrifted shorts that I found and that I kind of tagged to that image over on my like to know it because a few people were like, oh, the ones you linked don't really look like these. And I'm like, yeah, well, when I got them, they didn't look like this either. I rolled them up, I ironed them so that they creased, and then I literally sewed them in the middle so that they stay up in the middle and kind of lay and show the inside pockets. So guys gotta think outside the box a little. Everything is not going to be the exact same, especially when it comes to thrifting. You're never gonna find the same thrifted thing as someone. So those are two cool pieces I got in from one teaspoon. Let me show you guys what I got in from something by Sanji. Speaking of which, our spring summer collaboration is coming out soon. It might even be out but before this video goes live, I'm not sure. We are actually shooting all of the images for it in about three days. So I'm very excited. Sanji is coming to Miami from LA. We're gonna shoot all the pieces and we're gonna, we're gonna launch everything on April 16th. You wanna shop our spring summer collection, check out the somethingbysanji.com website and get your pre-order on. You guys are gonna love the pieces. So the first thing I got from my girl Sanji. And I'll be buying stuff, y'all. Even though we business partners, like still support your people, you know? I could have easily just asked her to send me stuff for free and she probably would do it because she's amazing. But I like to show that I'm supporting my friend. And she does have a line separate from our collaborative line. And so I got this paper bag waist skirt. You guys, so cute. It has these little pockets on the side uh, and then you can really cinch in the waist so that it's like that paper bag feel it it fits perfectly i think i got the size medium and it fits perfectly it's all about really cinching in that waist to really give it that feel the same goes for the james paper bag pant that sanji is so well known for you just gotta really cinch this waist in tight so that it just gives it that voluminous look. So I actually took a few pictures in this with like a pink crop top, but I mean a denim skirt, everybody needs one for spring and summer. Why not go big with a little more pizzazz with something like this? So loving this skirt. I also got another set from something by Sanji. Like you guys are gonna die. It's so good. So it's this rose knit two piece set. Now I have this same set and kind of like a gray and I wore it on Instagram and it's still to this day, like one of my most liked pictures. I posted it while in quarantine and I'm pretty sure she sold out. So now she's making the same set again in this dusty rose pink, like nude color and it's beautiful. The sleeves on these are super long and they always have that like flare at the end, which I love. This is almost kind of like a crop top. I am wearing a size medium and it does come with these pants. Ugh. So like this material you guys is like, it's so soft. I mean, it feels like a hug. Super soft knit. And I love how long the pants are too. They almost go all the way down to your ankle. 
Now this little piece here, you could tie it so many different ways. I just like to tie it in a little bow on the hip, but it's literally one piece of long fabric attached to the butt. And then there is a shorter piece of fabric in the front so that you can kind of tie it a bunch of different ways and kind of let the fabric hang to just, you know, up the ante a bit. So those are the two pieces I got from something by Sanji. I will link them both below because I'm pretty sure they're both still on her website. This is great for those chilly spring days or just lounging around the house you know, working from home. Who? it's been a minute since I did like a haul, a talking video. And I'm a little parched. By the way, this is green juice. It has like celery, apple, kale. Tastes really good. Also great for inflammation and for like getting your skin on fleek. Next up, we have this pink top from the brand finders keepers i found this on the cameo collective website and i fell in love with it it reminds me of the colt gaia top that is similar i missed out on the colt gaia top in pink and i really really wanted it and so this is a close second it still has that little cool like pleating on it and i'm loving these billowing sleeves that are kind of stretchy and it has this elastic around the waist, but it's almost like a crop top. It is see-through, so you have to wear like a bra or a tank underneath. But I am loving this. Unfortunately, this sold out. I'm pretty sure I bought one of the last ones, but if you're interested in this kind of top, just keep an eye on the Cameo Collective website for finders keepers, and perhaps it will go back in stock. I will also just link a few of my favorite from Colt Gaia that are back in stock that are similar to this. Uh, I can see a fabulous color block moment with this, y'all. Like, it's happening. I think I paired this with my orange satin tibby skirt and it was a vibe. Any pink top really goes really well with orange. You heard it here first, kids. All right, you guys. Uh, if you watched one of my previous vlogs, you've already seen these new shoes in from Colt Gaia. Ooh, should I do a thumbnail? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna use that thumbnail. I'll probably just use a picture of myself already in this outfit. But that was for your enjoyment. Speaking of which, if you are enjoying this video so far or you've already seen some things that you might wanna buy, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I would love to have you join the family. Let's get into these Colt Guy heels because if you're on Instagram, chances are you've already seen an ad <laughs> for these heels because they are going hard with that advertising over on Instagram. And I mean, I can't even lie. They, those ads work for me, you guys. It is like the floating heel sandal. And <laughs> do you see this? This is a work of art. Do you see that? I mean, how did they do that? It's magic. First of all, y'all already know I love gold. So to have a gold heel like this, is a vibe. I mean, I'm always wearing gold earrings and such. And then the bottom there is black. Ugh. It's cool, no? Look how cool that is. And also, very in, trending, the square toe. A nice thick raffia strap there, a thinner one here. They're almost like barely there. Like all aspects of this sandal is barely there. There's barely a heel, there's barely a sandal. It's a really great neutral, so you can most definitely pair these with just about everything. I mean, it wouldn't even look super cute with the dress that I have on. These are, these are a little scary to walk in, to walk in, y'all. I can't even, I can't lie. I'm not used to it because it is not a steady, secure heel. Every time you take a step, 
it kind of dips just a little bit and you're like is this gonna be the step that like breaks them in half i am a little nervous but i'm pretty sure these have held up to like all the standard requirements of being a safe shoe to walk in i got my normal size i'm normally a us size 10 and any european made shoe i always get a 41. i got the 41 in these they fit perfectly so very happy about these i feel like i'm just going to wear them <sighs> literally when like i'm getting in an, an uber and i only have to take 10 steps wherever i am before i sit down <laughs> because i just have to wear them around the house i think just to get myself like used to the heel dipping just a tiny bit with every step and not being like afraid for my life yeah i'm gonna wear these around the house today because i'm nervous but they are cute they're stunning works of art and i'm pretty sure they're gonna photograph super well i actually saw someone walking down lincoln road in these and i was like wow those are incredible can you imagine these with like a pair of denim mom jeans and just a plain white tee vibes all right guys so you all know how much i love rat and boa dresses this is my third rat and boa dress it is the infamous leopard dress this dress was sold out for a while and then i saw that it came back in stock and i snatched it up so quick like it would have made your head spin most of their dresses like this don't have an inner lining so they're a lot more sheer this one actually does have a lining between the outside or inside so definitely easier to wear like in public um but just a beautiful leopard print super long dress and i love it i love it so much i actually bought <laughs> another one also from rat and boa but this one is is not lined at all so this is another dress from rat and boa as you can see this one has no lining so it's a lot more sheer it also has a cow neck whereas this one has a v-neck the back is pretty much similar it has a little tie there this one there is no tie but you can adjust the straps definitely this one is more for like being able to wear in public the lining on the bottom of it is a little bit different to this one as well but they are both very similar both are rat and boa both kind of for different occasions this one more of like a wearing out this one more of like a beach cover-up sexy night with your man like who knows but uh, i can't get enough of leopard print like i think it might be my new favorite print it's good and for the rat and boa dresses i always get a size medium and they always fit perfectly so you can go with your normal size on those and even though this isn't new i've shown this to you guys a few times this is another rat and boa dress these are the only three that i own but they all kind of have that same shape and this one doesn't have a lining either but i mean it's stunning it's really really beautiful their dresses just fit incredible i'm going to show you this really cool workout set that i got in from varley this is a brand that reached out to me and wanted to send me some workout gear you all know that i work out three to four times a week with my girl gloria life with glory b on instagram if you want to join us for our workouts you just dm her on instagram that's the only way to get into the class look at this set it is a brown snake skin and it is so cute like oh i love it it fits like a dream i got the size medium and i've actually already work, worked out in this once and i've since washed it held up great during during my workout held up to the wash well so it has these little workout pants with that brown kind of python print and it also has a matching sports bra which is super cute and also very supportive. I love the back because it has the leopard strap and then it also has a black strap that kind of goes in between. Really great design. 
So if you're in the market for some really cool like workout gear that just looks neat and might motivate you to work out, definitely check out Warley. I will link this set down below along with a few of my favorites. I also got this in a size medium. And last but certainly not least, I'm gonna show you guys a few pair of other sunglasses that I gotten in, starting with this pair of Versace sunglasses. Do you guys see the tint on these? They go from like purple to like red. They're white. They have like little gold accents on the side with the gold Versace here in the front. I was just really in the market for white sunglasses and these are life. Like, look at that detailing. Can you guys see that? It's everything. Now, I these are like the first pair of Gucci sunglasses I own. And the reason why I love them so much. Wait for it. So, you guys, you can pop this out. So, it's magnetic. All of the visors for the sunglasses are magnetic. Those little four or five edges, two on each side and one in the middle, it's magnetic. And these have magnets and you just snap it in. So I have this visor, it comes with three. So each set of like glasses comes with three visors. So this one also came with just a standard black, just snap it in. So that's the black and then I can pop these out. See how simple that is? There's a clear, I mean, ah! so it's like having three pair of sunglasses in one, which is freaking amazing. I and mean, the price point on these was actually pretty good. I think I paid $350. But it's like having three pair of sunglasses. So I love these so much that I bought two pair. So I also have like these kind of like pinky purple, kind of like a clear magenta. And this one also came with a black set. I think it came with a clear set as well. So I have two blacks, I have two clears, and I also have a green, a green gradient. Let me show you the green gradient because that's actually one of my favorites. I wore them with my Simonette top and everyone loved that. So as you can see, um, these grade from like almost like a grayish black down to green, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so these are definitely a pair of my favorites. Let me show you what the pink looks like. I got these, one pair I bought here at like a sunglass hut. The other pair I got from Farfetch. I'm not sure if they still have them, but any of them that I can find, I will link. If you have a Versace store near you, they definitely have them in store, but I absolutely love these. I mean, I basically have six pair of sunglasses for the price of two, which just cannot be beat. They also come in a really cool box. Let me show you guys this. This is the box that they come in. This is the case. And they make it so that everything can kind of fit in here. So what happens is you get a bag for the main set and then you get these little velvet pieces and your visors go in here. Let me show you how it works. So you just put them in, slide them in like that. And it's beautiful black velvet. And then there's just like a little piece of Velcro. So this is how you hold your visors. And then they all perfectly fit right in here. 
And then you just take your main pair and they fit in there as well. You could just close it. So really cool. All right guys, so that is it for my new in. A girl just moved to Miami Beach and needed some new things and acquired some new things. A haul, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Everything that I've shown you is linked down below in the description box. Again, I am a size medium or a size six in everything. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give a girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.